Okay, the swap is done. Swap the axles and tires from the landslide to the Terramoto 10, and from the Terramoto 10 to the landslide. Right now, we're looking at the landslide. Flat pan chassis, low slung, looks mean, looks fast, has the 15 tooth pinion, so I should get exceptional speed. It was already doing 40 plus mile an hour with the uh, 13 tooth and the big tires. Maybe I'll go higher with these Terramoto tires. I think they look good on here. Let's take a look. Take this off. Still old landslide. Just had to use different screws. Get that pinion in there and on. Looks good. Still has good suspension travel. Good suspension travel. Should bottom out. And she's looking good. I'm happy with it. I can't wait to run it. Main truck. Well, I gotta move back for this. Terramoto 10. That's it. Landslide tires, landslide axles. I left the shocks on. I have a set of landslide shocks. I could put them on, but now this is a good dirt truck. It has very high clearance, as you can see. Really high clearance. High clearance front, back. Reminds me of the clearance on the Dakono. Okay, let's dig in. Whoops. Okay. Same setup as the landslide. If you saw in the previous video. Everything works. It's lined up. The axles work. Same thing on this side. This side. We have enough room now for the body to go on. I'll put it back on. And I don't have to cut. Won't have to cut. We have enough area that the body won't bind. So this is looking awesome. I can't wait to get this going. Red Cat, when they exclusively set the holes up to use just the 15 tooth pinion. So you gotta get a little creative, make the holes slightly bigger, and you have to grind an offset in there until the 13 tooth pinion will go on and mesh with the gears on the gearbox. Okay, but as you can hear, it rolls really nice. I have the optional center diff in there. I mean, this is the kind of suspension you would have wanted on a landslide, these kind of tires. But being that it's a high truck already, and when it had those tires on, it'd be, you got a high, a high level of getting ready to flip over. But I'm real happy with this. In fact, you want to make some holes? We can make it a landslide. Let's see what it looks like with the landslide body. Taramoto with a landslide body. That looks pretty good. Now, what's even cooler, I might do this. Let's get that. That's sick. That is one sick truck. Red Cat, I hope you watch this. Now that's, that's a truck. I'm a New Yorker. We're over here. But out prowling around, you want a truck looking like this. Mean, dark, low, ready to take off. Here you go. You got a mudslinger right here. You got the landslide. And I got another surprise for you. Just hold on. The Kaijo, best truck in the Red Cat stable, next to the Shredder, if you do the motor mod, you get that earthquake motor mount and they on the Shredder, then you got a good truck that's not going to grind up gears. 
but this this truck out of the box it's mean it's nasty it's tremendous but why not put shredded tires on it I ran this truck with the shredded tires handling is unbelievable now this truck is even wider takes the bounces and hits even better check out this check out this stance that's the Kaiju with shredder tires there's the Kaiju tires on the shredder that's too big to take down but we'll take it down next time we'll go over that motor mount wide in the back this will handle you got some more height so you don't have to gear it up you know you guys ever getting 53 miles an hour i'd say you're gonna get a couple of more miles an hour more with the height but this truck runs tremendous that's it for now later